Hi, so the video today is going to be a freeze uh, tour of the garden. Um, so a little refresher, I am in zone 9A north of Houston, you know, probably about an hour from downtown. And um, this used to be zone 8, 8B about 10 years ago and the USDA redrew re their lines and so um, zone 9A, which yeah, I agree, but you know, we get our free share of freezes and um, this weekend we happened to be going out of town right when we had a pretty deep cold front was coming through um, and everybody predicted about 25, 26 degrees and so some of our more sensitive plants have handled that before um, so we weren't too worried. Uh, we didn't cover our citrus. We moved all of our other sensitive tropicals in, bromeliads, orchids, um, things like that, but um, things that don't really like 30, 30 degrees or 35. <laughs> Um, but everything else we just kind of let it do its own thing but so Friday night into Saturday morning it got to about probably 18 to 20 degrees here which is not good for everything that got left out um, so we have quite a bit of damage um, last year it did not really freeze much we did not get much die back on anything so I think we got a little bit spoiled by that um, kind of disappointed now so we're gonna do a garden tour of flower garden I'm gonna go probably walk around the yard, a few other things, and then we're gonna do a separate uh, vegetable garden tour too. All right, here we go. So this is Carolina Ruelia. I have never seen it like this. It has tolerated light freezes beautifully before. Um, this is a, uh, it's like Brazilian flame plant or something. I uh, can't think of the actual name of it now. Um, it looks like the stems are kind of green, so I'm just gonna leave it um, I'm gonna probably leave a lot of things for another week or so and see how how they look. Um, poor little golden lotus banana. Um, some agastache, our um, variegated um, Turk's cap, which looks like the one piece that's way back there close to the house is doing okay. So if we need to reroot cuttings, that will be great. My poor blackberry lilies, they are usually pretty tolerant of, uh, of freezes and they look like crap. Um, on this side, this is a um, Cinecorombosa, and it's a native, and it looks a little rugged. It needed to be cut back anyway, so I'm going to chop it back. On this side, I've already had chopped back the butterfly ginger, but some of the ferns look a little upset. And this was cardamom, and so, you know, I'm going to just trim back and hope for the best. Looks like some passion vine back there is hung in there. Um, Way back there you see, you can't really see it, but there's a stem right there. Um, chalice vine. I'm gonna hope that comes back as well. Oh my. <sighs> my ground orchid. <sighs> I'm so sad, y'all. So sad. Um, Mugularia. Not happy. My almond verbena. Up there, it looks pretty good. Um, this salvia, this was Argentinian skies. You know, I think this stuff will come back from the roots. We're gonna have to find out, wait and see. Over here is Flamacanthus. I've got two, well, I think I actually had three of these, and they, this will be come back, I think. This looks like it's gonna be needing a trim, but it will come back. We've already chopped the banana trees back. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I see so much stuff that just looks unhappy. I don't know what's gonna happen now. Don't know. Let's see, shot from back here, kind of back this way. It's it's sad looking. All right, the lemon balm on this bed is uh, upset, as is the Formosa lily, but I think they're going to be okay. If not, I've got a whole bunch of seeds I can re -sow. I've got, um, Pineapple salvia, not happy. Hey, the foxgloves look perfectly fine. Dwarf pomegranate is pretty unhappy as well. This was Berlandia, but I think it'll be fine. That salvia is, eh. that salvia looks okay. The salvia had already cut back. Hopefully it'll come back from the roots. Um, I've already kind of weeded through some of this stuff. Um, there's my other flame acanthus and this salvia looks quite unhappy. I've got some uh, obedient plant, tons of it coming up here and it's a native, so it's fine. 
so we can get a kind of look from this direction there. And it's pretty sad looking. All right, so the back bed over here, I've already kind of cleaned up the uh, Mexican flame vine and it should come back from the roots. It looks like it's really heavily leafed mulch down there, so I think we'll be fine. The oak leaf hydrangea will be fine. Um, a lot of stuff is just dormant. My Abel Motius hibiscus I know will be toast, but I have seeds, so I'll restart those. Black and blue salvia. Now this had been doing well, but uh, <laughs> does not look happy. Neither does the uh, variegated brug, which was already bit back by the last freeze in December. Um, but that, it'll be tough to see if it'll come back. I had some variegated shrimp plants, my chili pecan, um, which I think will be fine. Um, I had a lot of different things that were coming up in here, and I don't know. Those looks like some Formosa lilies that needed to go anyway. Um, this was a Mealy uh, Salvia. Definitely looks like things got hit pretty hard. Oh, you can see the um, tropical milkweed back there that was re-sprouting. I'm just hoping the roots would s are safe enough that they will re-sprout. So you can see the tropical milkweed a little closer here. Um, just kind of give it a, some time, see what happens. And this was um, African blue basil, uh, but it had, it had already kind of died back with the last freeze, but I saw a couple pieces that were still alive, so I thought, hey, maybe it'll overwinter, I can get it to regrow, but yeah, that's not going to happen now. And I already cut the passion vine off the fence that also needs to be repaired. Um, so it'll probably come back from the roots. It's pretty hardy. In this bed we had over in this corner right there were some variegated cannas. We'll have to see what happens there. And the brugs will just be cut back. They should come back from the roots. They got a nice little root base. This one I'm very surprised um, of how it looks. It's a copper canyon daisy. It's a native. Um, but it looks really awful, so it's going to get trimmed back as well, as does some of this other salvia. Um, let's see. We'll go around the front and check out all this stuff. But you can see this bed is pretty ragged. Um, I'd already cut back the lantana, but this was the necklace pod. Um, I think it'll bounce back. And this was the... Um, uh, oh, hey, I see the sign. Oh, no, that was the butterfly milkweed <laughs> uh, sign. Um, just to see a spicicera spigil. Uh, yeah, I can't say that. It loves them, Cappy. Lots of unhappy plants. And let's see, down here was um, milkweed that was kind of coming back. More milkweed that was coming back. Um, and then this, all the salvia coccinia, which will come back from seed. I'm not worried about it. So on this fence was a uh, big uh, pipe vine. And it was already bit back by the last freeze. But it, whatever was still green is gone. So we'll just... I bet it comes back from the roots. We'll just have to see. Alright, there's Chris. He's inspecting the citrus leaves. Uh, so on the left here is the ujukitsu. We got an improved Myers lemon here in the middle, which looks like it has the worst kind of damage. We'll have to see what happens there. And a Satsuma down here. Uh, Satsuma started off, it was a little little thing. It's grown a lot in the last four or five years. Ah. So this is our Turk's cap uh, hibiscus uh, tree. <laughs> it's around a sweet gum. So it will probably get trimmed back some but I think it'll be fine if not they will definitely come back from the roots all right so let's go inspect the vegetable garden I, I it looks scary from here we'll see all right here we go radishes look a little wilted but they're not gonna be bad so I think I can uh, harvest them and the strawberries look just fine over here the onion beds look just fine. Carrots look great. Great, great, great. 
Hey, our peas. Look at our peas. Our peas look great. Um, all right, we'll do the scary stuff in a second. Okay, here's the green kale, new seedlings of kale look awful. The kale looks okay. Um, my red giant mustard, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. It looks pretty rough. Um, I may re sow this. Um, I think I will. I think I'm gonna throw a new seed down. Looks pretty upset. Oh no. Oh no. Y'all, my new artichokes that I just planted because the other ones died in the floods last spring look bad. I'm gonna buy more artichokes. Over here, our lettuce looks great. All right, keep looking. All right, broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts are doing all right. Asparagus looks just fine. Looks like I had a deer come through here and try to nibble through the fence. So let's get another shot over here. Uh, all right, let's see. Um, <laughs> my cauliflower, I don't know. It's one right there. There's another over there. It looks like it's toast. All right, here's the scary stuff. The green bud. Uh, all this is gonna go in the compost. And I will just re, redo. This was all bok choy. The bee right there. Trying to get the last of the flowers. Oh yeah, this is a bummer because I was gonna save the seed from all of this. I had little baby tatsoi, I had bok choy. Um, and this is great greens for smoothies. I love, I love these in smoothies because it's very mild. Um, over here, oh, damn it. Dill, my dill, I'm gonna have to re some dill. I don't know if I have any more dill seed. The dill is toast. The lemon verbena is toast. There is my <laughs> one and only loofah. I think I can take it off and dry it now. Hey, the fenugreek's still alive. And the cabbage seedlings are toast. I'm not gonna bother re sowing those. Oh, wait, here's a couple. If these guys survive, they get to stay. All right, so let's go see what's over here. We've got collards. Collards look okay. Chinese cabbage, I think, will be fine. I'm going to, I think I can trim off the bad stuff. I think it is survivable. Shard. Uh, look at that shard. I don't think that's good. All right, my um, turnips are okay. I'm gonna trim some of the bad stuff off the turnips, but I also just found something great. Hold on, let's check it out. Check that out. I've got turnips. So that means I can start eating turnips uh, for dinner. Yay! Um, and yeah, I had chard down here too and some other random greens. Um, a few of these plants might bounce back. I think they, they might. I will give them a chance. And I think I'm gonna retry some shard. All right, this bed had other, just um, like stir fry greens and that kind of thing. I think a few plants might be okay, but also had some dill. I don't know, I don't know, we'll have to see. Oh man, you guys, this is awful. Just found something else, you'll see in a second. The greens, yeah, we're just pulling this. And I didn't have anything down there. All right, we're gonna go down here. Hey, cilantro, cilantro, you look fantastic. Some oregano, doing okay. Chives, doing okay. Oregano, great. Cilantro, great. This dill somehow managed to survive. I can't believe it. And my parsley does not look happy. I think it will bounce back. I'm gonna just let it hang. Let it hang, see what goes on. And back over here, oh. <laughs> I had a milk thistle and a borage I transplanted because I didn't want it in the other beds. Um, the borage looks like it's toast. The milk thistle looks like it's hanging. So, <sighs> all right, so that is the freeze damage tour. I think in all, some of it's dead, some of it's gone. 